In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do something like this. Emulate a mobile view for a desktop project in Unity, or just a portrait view for a game project. If you want to do this only in editor, all you have to do is make a custom aspect ratio of 9 by 16. So we change our type to aspect ratio, 9, 16, let's call it mobile, and hit OK. And now it's pretty much done for in editor, but if you want to um, do it for a build, we have to go even further. Okay, so for the build, we need to start by making two uh, static int variables because we don't want them to change whenever the scene is reloaded or when we transition to another scene. So public static screen uh, width, and we do the same thing with screen height. So public static in screen height. Um, just a habit I have is for static variables, I like to use um, Pascal case where the first letter of the variable is capitalized rather than the usual camel case, which you see here. So we're going to make our screen width is equal to screen dot width. And our height is going to be equal to screen um, dot height. So before we start, we need to first do a check to make sure this, met, uh, this change isn't going to be repeated. Otherwise, in a build, if it's repeated, it can cause your project to crash whenever the scene is reloaded, which is an issue which I haven't found much documentation on. So I just felt like I need to share. So we'll do, it will check if screen width is equal to screen dot width or, or and um, screen height is equal to screen dot height. So for starters, we first will probably end up flipping our screen widths and heights. So we pretty much want our height to be longer if we're doing a portrait game. So ideally we'll want our screen height, we'll pretty much use our screen width values for our height and our screen height value for the width. If you pretty much get where I'm going. So we'll do, um, so let's start with our screen height is going to be equal to screen dot um, width minus 640 uh, times 2. And I'll explain this soon. We'll do the same with our screen uh, width, which is going to be equal to screen dot height minus three hundred and sixty times two. Now we need to do screen dot set resolution. And we'll first, for our width, we'll pretty much give it the value of the new screen width we made. So screen width, and we're gonna make it this, our screen height's gonna be our new screen height. And then if we want to allow full screen, we just set this next variable to true. And that's pretty much it. If you get why, if you understand where these magic numbers are coming from, you can just stop right here. Otherwise, you can just here continue watching. So um, this is pretty much our default uh, standard screen widths with resolutions. Um, so um, two, uh, two five, um, 2560 um, is pretty much for a 1440p monitor, this for 1080p monitor, this for a 720p. So pretty much the difference between um, 440, uh, sorry, 1440 and 1080 is 360. And the difference between these two numbers is 360. At the top, the difference between these two numbers is 640. These two are also 640 and these two are also 640. So that's where we get these first numbers from. So the reason we have to times it by two is, so we need to make our new screen height is gonna be this, right? Pretty much where I'm moving my mouse up and down. 
So it needs to, but th this is my default screen height, 1440. So I pretty much need to make sure it still fits within this. So if I minus it by 640 once, it gets 1920, which still is out of bounds for that. So I need to do it again to get 1280. Um, and the same principle applies here. Well, actually, this is to more or less for scaling issues. So these things are both relative to each other. And that's pretty much it. I hope it helped you with anything you needed for a certain project. Also, make sure to never call this on awake. Otherwise, you can cause crashes in your project.